The eye is probably one of the best perception organs of the human body. So no wonder it get bored easily by ordinary pictures or footages like this. You see, normal hill, grass and a sky. Boring. But using a very special technique while shooting a video, it can create the look of something even more realistic than reality itself. And this is called an HDR time lapse. So, like this footage I shoot recently. Wow, look at these clouds. You like to do something as well? No problem, I'll show you. If you suspected spending a large amount of money for a high-end Full HD camera, you're wrong. Instead, you don't even need a video camera, as 25 still shots combined will create the impression of a moving picture in your brain. As I always like my old EOS 400D, I will use this camera for the tutorial. You may get a gear like this at about 300 bucks from eBay, and it's worth every penny. For the time lapse effect, you have to trigger your camera in a certain interval, like every 5 seconds. For Canon users, the budget way is to use the free EOS utility delivered on your CD. The disadvantage of this solution, you always have to carry around a laptop computer or a netbook, like in this case. Okay, let's go out and search a nice spot. In addition to your camera and your notebook, you should use a tripod and a lens matching your expectation. For landscape shooting, I use now an ultra-wide Tamron lens, offering the eye an unusual view. As you can't create HDR shots from normal JPEGs, either choose the RAW format or the automatic exposure bracketing, also called AEB mode, on your camera. Last one mentioned will create three JPEGs, one with a normal exposure, a darker and a brighter one. If you decide to make a photo every five seconds, you will have to wait two minutes for just one second of your final HDR movie, so you better have some coffee or grab a book or have a little Snickers. If you would like to shoot for a long time, you better have a power nap, because you will need the energy for the final post-production. If you don't want to carry around your large laptop, you can buy an interval timer, such as third-party devices, from 20 bucks, up to the EOS original timer, TC80M3, made of pure gold. Yeah, at least when regarding the price of about $150. Bargainers could even use a small infrared trigger and an accurate stopwatch, but prepare to look stupid. With a huge amount of raw data on your hard drive, say goodbye to nature and prepare for the ultimate cutting and rendering experience. For HDR production, I use Luminance HDR, the newer version of QTPFSGUI. Holy crap, now I know why they renamed it. Load the first raw file and alter it according to your imagination. Choose a more realistic look or a likely artistic impressionist style, as you like it. The batch mode of Luminance HDR is currently limited to image width of 400 pixels. Improvements are to come with a new version, but if you want to do an HP footage or a 720p shoot right now, you'll have to edit every image manually. Sounds hard, but it's definitely worth the pain. Now you've finished your work, it's time to put the pieces together. For freebie lovers, use Virtual Dub, throw already edited stills in one folder and open the first one. If you're equipped with Adobe Lightroom, load all images create a slideshow with 25 frames per second and export it as a film. Congrats, you're finished. The good old EOS 400D made it job very well and my fingers are bleeding now from adding every picture manually. But I think the result is very good. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, visit my blog and enjoy the footage.